Hi everyone, it's Margaret here. Um, I've been asked time and time again to do a uh, tutorial on how I do my image transfers onto the fabric. And uh, I'm just about to start a new project, so I thought it was timely. Um, I have my supplies ready, so I thought I would do a quick video to show you all um, what I do. Now, I used to buy um, fabric um, paper uh, that you could put through your printer um, to get your images, and I just found that to be very expensive. So um, I did discover online this method, and I've been using it um, for many years now, and uh, I've always had great success with it. So what I do is I use freezer paper, and these come in boxes. You can buy them like so, in rolls, and um, you'll see that one side is flat, and the other side has a shiny side. So this is the side that you're going to adhere to your fabric. So what I do is I cut up the freezer paper into eight and a half by 11 sheets, which would be exactly like your photocopy paper, as you can see. So I do them in eight and a half by 11. And then what I do is I use either muslin or a cotton or broadcloth, something of that nature um, as my, my fabric where the image is going to be transferred onto. Now you want to make sure that your, um, your fabric is not too thick, so that's why I do recommend that you stick to the, uh, to the light cotton weight um, um, fabrics. Um, I usually go with the um, the creams and the off-whites, it does soften the image a little bit because I find the white uh, fabric to be a little bit too stark. So that's what I do. And then what I what I do from there is I cut these into eight and a half um, sheets, pieces, and um, then uh, once I have my, my sheet, um, I take the freezer paper, shiny side down, onto my uh, fabric piece and I iron it on with the hot dry uh, iron make sure you don't have any steam so you just press it down you want to make sure that the paper covers all the edges have have it overlap a little bit so that there's no fabric sticking out from the sides you want to cover all the edges with your paper in a eight and a half by eleven uh, sheet size once you've pressed that on, it will actually look like this. There's your fabric. There's the flat side of the freezer paper. And now you have an eight and a half by 11 uh, sheet that um, you can actually just feed into your printer and um, you will get the image transferred right onto the fabric. What you wanna watch for, a couple of tips, make sure that when you're pressing your fabric uh, your um, freezer paper onto your fabric. Make sure you don't have any kinks in it. Make sure that you don't have any any threads, any of these little loose threads, because when you put it through the printer, uh, your image will be um, affected if you have any kinks or pieces of uh, fabric or threads sticking out of it. Also, another thing, make sure that you don't have any frayed edges. You want to get rid of any loose threads because I have had paper jams when I've um, uh, fed the uh, sheet through. If there was any loose threads, it could jam the printer. So you have to be very careful. So that's basically it. What you do is you, you just feed that through your, uh, your printer, just as you would any other uh, uh, piece of paper, according to your printer uh, you know, instructions and pass it through and you get a beautiful image every time. Then you want, what you want to do is just peel off the fabric from the paper, uh, the backing, you discard the backing, and then you have your, your image to use as, as you wish. So I hope that was helpful. Um, as I said, this is what I've been doing and it's always worked beautifully for me and uh, you get good results. If you just follow those instructions, you'll be fine. So give it a go. Hope you, uh, hope you learned something here and uh, hope to see you again very soon. Bye for now.